Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here, and today I'm with five-time world champion, Olympic silver medalist, and Snapchat sensation, Gus Kemworthy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, anyway, Gus is here for our Uncut series, and we're gonna get a haircut today. So, oh, that's why it's called Uncut series. Yeah, and then we ask you if you're cut or uncut. Oh. We'll get there. Okay. We're gonna make him look really gorge. Now that he's out of the closet, we need to get him ready for boys. Trying to look pretty, girl. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your hair. You have really curly hair, right? So curly. And um, what is your ma what is your struggle with it the most? Just that it's so thick that it like kind of does whatever it wants. I was thinking you could use the thinning shears to take a little out of there. You have to be careful when you're using thinning shears because if you have curly hair, it can tend to make the hair a little frizzy. So we want to avoid that. And we're gonna maybe clean up the sides a little bit. You're looking a little overgrown. Very overgrown. And um. Yeah, but looking good. I want to keep the haircut looking really classic. Just kind of clean it up, yeah? Yeah. Let's get started. We're going to do a shampoo first. This is not a good <laughs> angle for anyone. You ready for a little peppermint shampoo? I'm ready. I'm ready. Today I'm using Mr. Pompadour's peppermint shampoo and conditioner. It's perfect for stinky boys like Gus. Does the peppermint feel good? Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> it actually does. It feels like the way a peppermint patty tastes. Like, it favors just the smell. It's really nice. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. I haven't had the rest yet, but... <laughs> How much would it cost to just have you live at my house and shampoo my hair every day? A lot. Well, I, I guess, like, I guess someone would just have to date you to have that, but then, like, that's that's more hassle than it's worth. <laughs> I don't know, I'm considering everything at this point. That felt so good. I really like using this peppermint shampoo and conditioner because I find it very invigorating in the morning. Like, wakes me up and gets me ready to go. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody, we need to let everybody know that Gus won a silver medal at the Sochi Olympics. And I want to know what your favorite, like, Olympic memory was. The medal ceremony after the actual event was definitely a highlight. The guy that got first, Joss, and the guy that got third, Nick, are both also American. So yeah. it was the third sweep in U.S. history. Oh, wow. To see the three flags go up behind each of us and the national anthem play for all of us. And wow, yeah. It was just like, it was pretty crazy. That was definitely like a highlight. Are you cut or uncut? <laughs> I was waiting for that question now. Uh, I'm uncut. I was born in the UK. You are? Yeah. Wow. I know. Um, it's coming into your high season right now for skiing, right? Yeah. Like, what does your season look like? Like, what is this season going to look like for you? Um, it's a lot of contests. This year isn't an Olympic qualifying year or anything, so in that sense, it's kind of unimportant. But we still have all of our other like marquee events, like Dew Tour and X Games. Uh, my first event is Dew Tour. It's in Breckenridge, Colorado, December 10th to 13th, mm -hmm. and uh, it's an NBC event. Stay tuned. I watched your event, Ellie. You better watch mine. <laughs> so this has been like a really big recovery year for you with your injury, right? Yeah. And this year has also been a huge year for you because you came out of the closet. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you I... came out as the first gay action sport superstar <laughs> ever in life. I did. I, I came out like a month ago on the cover of ESPN. You sure did. You came out in the biggest way possible. Yeah. So I'm so grateful that I got to work with you on that because it was my first cover. And I just feel so proud to have been involved with it at all because it's such a huge, huge deal. Oh, thanks, babe. I said, if Kyle's not doing it, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm sure they love that. Yeah. Uh, what do you hope that the impact of your coming out would be? I hope that like me coming out and my cover helps kind of push the world and sports especially to a place where it isn't a big deal to come out. Yeah. I mean, I don't really think that it should be newsworthy. I don't think that it should warrant a cover, but I just think that it's sort of so shocking and unsuspecting that it is kind of news. Mm. And I don't think that that should really be the case. And I didn't have a role model when I was a kid. And I think if there had been someone that I was really excited about and I looked up to and they had been openly gay and been cool with it, I think it would have helped me a lot. And so, like, if you could say something to young, you know, to like an LGBTQ person who is in the closet, um, like, what would you want them to, like, what would you want to say to them that they would be looking up to you for? The people that can accept it and don't kind of embrace it are people that you don't really want in your life anyway. So yeah. I think that it's kind of 
a hard fact to learn, but I think you'll be blown away by the amount of people that do support you, and I really feel like you don't need the ones that don't. Um, Which is also really hard to say too, right? Like, it was really challenging for me to come out of the closet and know that I might lose some friends. Right, it's like, a scary it thing, and I mean, I think everyone has, has, has those same things, like everyone, everyone in the closet has the same thoughts, but I've never talked to anybody out of the closet that's been like, oh, I wish I stayed in the closet a little bit longer. Like, it's so liberating yeah. once you're out that you almost are just like, God, I wish I did this sooner, so. Who would you say inspired you to come out of the closet? Um, Besides me. Well, it's funny, I was actually gonna say you. But you were? Yeah. Yeah, did you guys hear that? Really inspiring over here. This girl. Like, Caitlyn Jenner's story definitely had a big impact on me. I remember that yeah. was like a point where I was already thinking about coming out, and yeah. then I saw that, and I was like, holy shit, if she can, do that with the world watching in way more of an amplified way than my life. I was yeah. like, that's definitely, it was encouraging for me and I feel like people were really supportive. Okay, we're gonna do a word association game and we're gonna say a word and then Gus has to say a word right away, his like first thought or like what you, what you think when you hear that word. So the first word is Miley. Tongue. Olympics. Uh, rings, They're, I don't know. Boyfriend. Kyle. <laughs> no. White. Um, I'm a Disney girl. Sochi. The dogs. Sex. Oh my god, I can't do this. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Why is it bad? Sex I don't know. Good. Sex is good. The first thing that popped into my mind was lube. <laughs> the word lube. Okay, silver. I'll go silver fox. Like Anderson Cooper. <laughs> what up? Okay, um, bronze. We're, we're friends now, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We saw your sample. Yeah, we know. Uh, bronze. Ugh. <laughs> Bronze? <laughs> oh my god, I just stroked my mouth a little bit. Why is okay. your shirt on? So you- hey! <laughs> no, actually like, though, this like- This is classy. Oh, so you wanna do- okay, for maybe one more styling, we can take off our shirts. Okay, we're gonna texturize a little bit. Spin me. So the way I'm gonna texturize, I'm just gonna go along your hair up here. Take out a little bit of density. Ah! <laughs> 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 You're such an idiot. You didn't scare me at all. I know you should. We're gonna wet down your hair. But we want to maintain the curl in this area because I really like the texture. So we're gonna use a paddle brush, which has a wide bristle, so it doesn't have that much tension. So it has a little bit of tension that pulls the hair, the curl a little bit, but not too much. The first product that we're gonna use today is this product, this texture powder, which I love so much because Gus has a lot of hair and he has a lot of texture, but I like the hair, I want it to feel a little more full. This texture powder from Mr. Pompadour we're gonna put in first. And I just kind of like pull the hair up gently, sprinkle it in, get it there on the root. And I can already feel that the, the powder is already making the hair feel a little more dense. It like, it adds, it adds like a lot of fullness to the hair. I want this at home. You put this in last time and I like that. Yeah. So the best thing about this product is it adds, it adds like a lot of fullness to the hair. Like when I put my fingers through it, I can't even really get my hands through it because it adds so much density, which I love so much. And I wanted kind of like very, like a more like a beachy day vibe, but I wanted it to be like a really matte finish. I went with this beeswax that I just kind of like put in. I take like a, maybe like a nickel to dime size, put it on my hand, it kind of disappears. And I'm just like gonna slowly put it through his hair, um, making sure that I, I distribute it evenly on my hands so that um, I don't get like chunks in his hair, right? So I'm just kind of like slowly put, like making it like a little PC, kind of wrapping my hands around the curl, my fingers around the curl a little bit to show some texture. Just kind of like getting it into like a place where I think that it's like kind of good. Which is- Kind of good, that's what we're aiming for. Kind of good. Kind of good. Mediocre at best. Kyle, Kyle Krieger haircut, kind of good. <laughs> if you wanted to use something that had a little bit more shine, um, then you would use a pomade or a sculpting clay. Um, I highly recommend them, they're great. Okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Is that me? I Stop. I was kind of going for the whatever we did for the ESPN cover. Yeah, Pretty I like much it. the same thing, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's I love that it's kind of like a little bit like chill, like easy breezy, beautiful like cover undone girl. undone look. Wow! You said we were taking our shirts wow. off. You're giving everybody a little bit of a show. What well, do you have to say for yourself? You were the one that said we were going to take our shirts off for the styling, and then I was the only oh. one that did. I just did it sneaky. Oh, well, okay, I guess so. <laughs>
Okay guys, thanks so much for tuning in today and make sure you follow Gus on social media at Gus Kenworthy and I'll make sure I put all of his links down below. And you can follow me on Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram at Kyle Kruger Hair. And you can like this video and subscribe to the channel and you can make sure you check out Mr. Bombador products as well. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye. Right? Say bye. Bye. Blow them kisses. <laughs> bye guys.